What's up guys? This came off a little of nostalgia playing that 007. So now we're gonna try something that we've never seen before. Game Action. called Slaycation. There's a guy shooting a cat out of a cannon. Do you see that? Right. This was not what I was expecting when we got this game. Out? No, is this a game that's it? What? Are you a travel consultant? Barry. <laughs> Barry the actor. <laughs> 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 Are you just selecting at random? <laughs> yeah. This is weird that it's like a choose your own adventure and we're just choosing at random. <laughs> Are we choosing? I feel like we're going in a straight line. Okay, learning nothing about the game. Metro Mexican, this is kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh. Salvage, 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 salvage. You gotta be shitting me. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Should have melee him. What is that? Oh, cool. Where's my health, Steve? Oh, shit! What do you mean you don't see my health? Is it just a screen? Did you die? That pretty much looks like it. Here you go. Fantastic. Learned nothing. Dude, games like this, I don't understand. You gotta, nope, nope, nope. Was I shooting? Yeah. Kill his ass. Oh, you don't have to scavenge them. They're, they're turrets for you. Oh, Leave oh. them. Wow, you made I terrible I just took down choices. my whole armed forces. That's why I died so fast. Oh, oh shit. I don't know what that was. Um, There are people coming. Fuck them up. There you turrets. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got a flamethrower. Why did you let me take down all those things earlier? So much better. Toggle your thing? cat. What's the cat? Uh, down oh. on your D-pad. Slices up enemies. Okay, so mm -hmm. the money we pick up, you can put down different turrets and shit. So this is like some kind of weird tower defense game? Yeah. Which are games that I typically hate. It looks like you're dying. Your health bar is on your yeah, yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Real bad. How? There wasn't even anything over there. We're never going to be the hey, orientation. We got a shotgun. Everyone knows in zombie games that a shotgun's the best. If you were in a zombie apocalypse, what kind of gun would you pick? Trick question. Would it pick a gun? I think I would pick a melee weapon. Gun always means you reload. Yeah. But what if it was like the gun blade from Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> that was Final Fantasy VIII. No, it wasn't. Final Fantasy Cloud, had a gun Cloud was in Final Fantasy VII. It's the only one I watched my brother play. Cloud did not have a gun blade. Yeah, he did. Dude. Whatever, I'd pick Barrett's gun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who Barrett, had the gun blade then? His name was Squall. He was from Final Fantasy VIII. That's a fucking lie. That's not a lie, dude. Call Faven. Call him right now. Hello. Hey, Fave. Yo, what's up? We were just uh, debating, uh, when did the Gunblade come into the Final Fantasy series? And who- Final, Fan who? Final Fantasy hates Squall. God damn I it. told <laughs> you, dude. Thanks, Fave. <laughs> Steve thinks he knows more about games than we do. <laughs> oh, Steve. <laughs> I said it was Cloud in Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. Oh, Steve. <laughs> well, it's my bad. But I swear it was in that game. No, it wasn't. <laughs> there was a man with a gun arm in that game. Yeah, yeah he, he made him correctly. <laughs> 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 All right, babe. All right, good night. Good night. Uh, see, you're wrong. Say you're wrong. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> this game seems like kind of a wash to me, but we got to beat this first level, like most games we play. Not enough scrap. I think they're doing their uh, fractions wrong. I think they put the necessary numbers on top and how much <laughs> we have on the bottom. Some Gen Z shit. Now look at your cat. See, 64. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Why is there so much shit on oh. the screen? Oh fuck, oh fuck. Holy, you're gonna wanna hang out by your turrets, dude. You have no help. There's all sorts of shit over there by the dead bodies. Well, do you see that they're, whatever they're shooting is attracted to my body? No, what was that slow motion shit? I don't know, but I'm trying not to get the purple. Oh my god, you're getting hit. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 13 seconds. Steve, don't stray, don't stray. Come on, portal. Oh god. Oh god. 
Figure it out. Call it a video. All right, zombie apocalypse. What is your melee weapon of choice? I mean, I'm pretty partial to the bat with the nails sticking out of it. <laughs> yeah? The old Negan? Yeah. No, that's barbed wire. But the only downside of that is like, if you swing it right, you get it stuck in like a skull. Uh -huh. You gotta spend time taking it out. Looks badass. That's true. But probably some kind of sword. Some si sword? Some kind of sword, for sure. Problems with other melee weapons, right? Like the hammer, effective. But you gotta get way too close range. And like the bat with nails, I get that, but how good is the wood that they use? What other melee weapons are there? Axe. Axe is good. I think you still have to get way too close. I mean, all melee weapons, are, like by definition, are pretty close. I understand that, but the sword is the longest distance. Because when you're in a zombie apocalypse, right, you're trying to go for the head. I want to know what the difficulty of pulling your weapon back from a skull is, right? And that sounds like some serial killer shit, but sure. It's important. If you're being chased by a horde of zombies and you decide to take one on, if your fucking melee weapon gets stuck in their skull, what can you use until you pull it out of their skull? But no matter what, your melee is getting close. Yeah. I mean, so that's when bludgeoning comes in. So you don't want it stuck in. Right, that's why a hammer might be cool. And it depends on how delicate zombie skulls are. Because if you have to cut through it, like if it's like two hits with a bat or one slice with a sword, what are you picking? A sword dulls, a bat does not. That's my one problem with Walking Dead. It is, it's inconsistent with the skull densities of the, of the zombies. They make it seem like they turn and then all of a sudden their skull's just little <laughs> half rotted. <laughs> class base, you know? You'll see a lot of people just die and they're becoming a zombie. And then the walking dead, they just stick their knife slowly into the skull. <laughs> you're, you're a man of science, Steve. What is the PSI required from a sharp object to penetrate the skull? You gotta figure it's probably somewhere in the 150 range. It's a lot. It's a decent amount. Yeah. Considering you fill your tires to like 35. <laughs> and that can carry a whole 2000 pound car. Like they say, a woman exerts more force on the ground in a stiletto than an elephant does. They say that? It's true. Because the stiletto is such a small point, but the elephant's foot is so large. Huh. So say you're using like a garden tool, right? Like a hoe. And you're trying to exert some PSI on a zombie skull. At what point is the PSI required to pierce the skull? greater than what a human can exert. Well, I mean, a hoe's pretty sharp. Yeah. So, like, getting more blunt, like, if you were to use the other side, like the handle side. This is what dumb ground. people do. Yeah. Ow. It Bitch. would take a shitload. For, for a zombie skull, I don't know. Because, like you said, they, they get pretty soft. <laughs> I do say that. <laughs> <laughs> Some flaccid-ass skulls out there. All right, so the PSI thing's stupid. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I don't think we should base our melee weapons off of PSI. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, dude? How about we haven't talked about archery? Viable or not? If I'm choosing a bow or a gun, it's going to be a gun. Because either way, your ammunition is limited. But it doesn't require strength, really, to pull a trigger. After you've established some sort of society, yeah. do you think you're a hunter-gatherer slash defender or farmer? Oh, farmer, 100%. Yeah? What are you farming? I've got a relatively green thumb. I can grow pretty much anything. I don't it's believe you. It's just a matter of getting the seeds. All right, what seeds are you looking for first? <laughs> well, you want high nutrition vegetables, so it's gonna be something like... Kale? Like a fruit, like a tomato. That's my first problem. I'm in the zombie apocalypse and I've got my crossbow loaded and some guy comes up to my group saying, I can help your community. I know what I'm doing to grow, grow uh, produce. I'll grow fruit, such as tomato. <laughs> I don't trust your ass. <laughs> You're there for blood. I'm fucking killing you on sight. Yeah. That guy was here for our women and children. That's why I killed him. Fruits, goddamn tomato. What are we doing? We're picking up guns. We picked up an SMG. What do we do with it? You have to build eight wall defenses. You see that? Okay, all right. It's subcategory. If you're not a hunter slash fighter, you could be a farmer, an engineer. In, like in 
in the infirmary. Probably not medical. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could probably sew up a leg or something like that. But <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have when, like when housewife, you say, housewife skills. <laughs> when you say sew up a leg, what are you picturing? Like taking a big knitting needle and just like. <laughs> You know, somebody has the old bite mark or you know, something like that. See, that's your first, that's your mistake again, dude. If you came up to me saying, "Hey, I'm a doctor. I can sew up <laughs> bite wounds with your uh, my knitting with your needle needle. Needle. Clearly, you have no idea what you're talking about. You are of no use to me. All right, we have these blockade balls. Seven out of three. Look at that shit, dude. We're kitted now, and we just stand here. We have a portal. We have a portal. <laughs> oh, they're breaking my wall. What, Steve? You can just. Walk across it willy nilly. I don't know about willy nilly. Do I have ammo? No ammo. You have to reload. You get 11 rounds. 11 or 12. Am I dead? I think you're dead. Fucking shit. Here, make the walls, dude. This game's impossible. When in the timeline of a zombie apocalypse do you think you're dying? Because I am not rambunctious enough to think that I'm going to live towards the end. And, uh, I mean, it, it all depends on what's causing the zombie. Okay, so in a situation where we're not patient zero. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that... Did I die? What happened? What happened? You made it. You got it. Completed orientation. We did it. We can stop talking about this. And that is the conclusion, right? Is the post-apocalyptic world is nothing other than... A Call of Duty lobby. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and there's a lot of racists <laughs> in there. A lot of racists and assholes on that. So everyone out there in YouTube land should evaluate if this was worth 20 United States dollars. <laughs> it was 15 American. Was it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was 19. Whatever. I think the answer is no. Yeah.